My name is Aisha Well, and I'm an actor. That's what I originate from. And now I'm a character dev, which is character development. And I have a company called Creature Bionics, which specializes in the character development and performance for creatures and fantasy characters. Creature Bionics has brought me more money than just an actor, because as an actor, you just have to wait to get hired. Whereas Creature Bionics, I sell rigs, I run workshops, I get hired for workshops, I do acting, I cast for acting, someone might hire my mocap system. So I've got different streams of income where I might not be working all the time, but I have the different ones that might come in this week, this one might come in this week, but I'm always active on it. So the journey of where I am now to where I started, started as an extra, and then I bumped up into Legend of Tarzan, thought I was gonna be a warrior, ended up playing the apes. From that, I discovered motion capture. So I went down my motion capture journey. In my motion capture journey, I was still doing normal stuff. So I did EastEnders there and I done New Blood, but I focused completely on creatures and fantasy characters till it got me on Marvel, Ant-Man, Marvel, Eternals. And from Eternals is when I decided to do the creature bionics because I saw there was a niche. And then I just decided to take that on and make it what it is today. The things that I had to learn separate from being an actor is the tech side of animation and mocap. You know, I'm not an expert in that field, like to hire me as an animator, but working on jobs, I would just ask questions. Okay, what's going on here? Why are we doing this? What's going on here? I had to learn Unreal, which is a free software, and I integrated the knowledge of what I've learned on jobs, YouTube's on Unreal, what I am as an actor, and I just plumbed it all together. So what we did today was we used motion capture as a way to pre a character. And when I say pre is it's about looking at the visualization of a character before it goes into production and post. So that helps you to see what's happening. You get to see it beforehand and decide what happens. And that then gets put into whatever field you're using it for. So whether it's for a video game, whether it's for a film, whether it's for a commercial, it just gives you more of a real reference to be able to see it. And for the actor, it lets them understand that there's certain changes that you may need to make just for animation. So you may not exaggerate so much on screen, you may not exaggerate so much on in theater, but for creatures in animation, you may have to go over the top just so it looks normal on animation, and that's what we were basically showing the actor today. So the best way to understand how to become a character is to look at it from two perspectives. You look at it from the actor's perspective and you look at it from the audience perspective. So I go cinema, I play games, so I know what I want to see and I believe I can try to understand what the generic audience want to see and then as an actor I play towards that. And then you have stuff that you would do that you learn from different elements of like breath, how breath controls what we do. You know, if we breathe fast, you know, that means there's an activity going in in our body. If we're angry, our breath changes. So you match the breath with the physicality, with the image, and then you do it from an actor's perspective, but then you also do it as a viewer perspective as well. The biggest challenge in regards to my field of work would be first trying to get into the motion capture industry. That was really a challenge. It took me about two, three years and I had to find my way, which I did through branding and creating content that wasn't out there. And what continues to be a challenge now, I would say for Creature Bionics is how much more I have to learn into animation. Because yes, I could pay an animator to do something, but let's say I get a great idea at three o'clock in the morning, I wanna be able to do it. So it's finding the time to be able to learn all the other things around the tech and animation side. The main thing is you need to one, see yourself as an asset, you need to find your niche, have a good team around you because you can't do everything yourself. I have the mindset of, I'm gonna get them to come to me rather than me going to them. So how can I add more value to the industry? And because I think from that mindset, I believe more things come to me to think of ways to make money in different streams, but related to the same thing. <laughs>